<laughs> Happy Glitter Pit Day. It's that time. It's 3 o'clock. Are you guys here? You're supposed to be here with me at 3 o'clock every Wednesday, except for next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we are heading down to Houston, Texas for On Stage. So I will not be live with you guys next week. I will send out a newsletter to update that, but just write it in your phone or your notebook or whatever, however you keep track, that um, <clears throat> I will not be live here next week, all right? But I'll be back here the, the following week. All right, let's go ahead and do an early bird glitter spinner. Let me turn my comments on really quick. Hi, everybody. Where are you? <laughs> Renee, I'm right here. I don't, I don't know if you're even talking to me, but maybe, I don't know. There you are. <laughs> okay. Here I am. I'm live here on YouTube right now. You are in the right place. All right, let me do ahead, let me go ahead and flip this over. Put you guys in picture and picture. All right, so let's go ahead and do a spinner, an early bird glitter spinner. I'm going to give you guys these. These are the Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. These are really per pretty in the purple, my favorite color. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin the comments. All right, let's spin it right here. Who is that? <laughs> it won't come up. Irene, yay, our moderator won. Irene. Irene Miller. All right, Irene, I have your address. I will get these sent out to you, all right? Congratulations. What are they, the purple gems? Yay. All right. Yay, our moderator won. Congratulations. Yay. So, Irene, I will drop these off at the post office, and they'll be on their way to you. All right, we'll do another glitter spinner at the end of the hour, all right? The card is really super cute and super easy. You guys can mass produce these in a minute, let me tell you. All right, now let's go over some updates. There's not that many. I do have a brand new host code for you guys, those that use the host code. This host code will be good through April and you'll get your small gift mid-April. So I'm expecting the small gift for March to come in any day now and then I'm hopefully gonna get those sent out to you guys before I leave for Houston next or this next Wednesday all right so um, this is the new host code for 30 days or so okay so use that make a note of that also I have a question on the link down below or in the description box I had many of you reach out and ask me if I was selling just the PDF the thing is with this class, there's no PDF. There's a printable that kind of looks like this, you know, that I give you guys every week. There's no step-by-step -step instructions with these printables. And the Latte Love class that has already been closed, I ordered everything yesterday. Yay! We got everything ordered. And the thing is, is I give, I am I actually didn't give, but I'm, I'm making videos for the class. So there are step-by-step -step instructions with the video format. So um, I'm not really selling the videos, but I could write up the PDF if you guys are interested in purchasing just the PDF. There's no consumables, it's just the printable. And I don't know if I have time enough to do that before I leave on Wednesday, but I can try. If there's enough that want it, I can try. So let me know, either text me or email me, and let me know if you're interested, because the more people I have that show interest in I will try to do that for you guys, all right? So, but the Latte Love class, all the items have been ordered. And then here is the card we're making today, and I'm calling it the Flat Funfold card. Very simple and so cute. And we're using the cute little cutest cows. I made three different versions of this card, plus I have another sample to show you with the Latte Love um, the Latte Love Bundle, all right? So we'll share those here in a second. Well, I'll share the three cow versions with you guys here in a second. But you guys can print out the printable listed down below in the description box. The link is there. It will help you, or it will give you all the measurements for today's card. And also you can download it and save it into your folder, whatever you want to do, all right? Those are free. 
All right, so how's everybody doing? I don't feel like much is happening lately. Um, we're just, you know, getting ready to go to on stage next Wednesday. The event actually starts in the afternoon on Thursday, but we like going in the day before. So my husband and I are leaving on Wednesday. So I'm pretty excited about seeing all my Stampin' Up! demonstrator friends. We all get together and it's nice to catch up and brainstorm and stuff. You know all that. But let me show you the card we're making today. It's very cute. This is the actual one we're going to make using the lemon lolly. So cute with that cutest cows. And then you open it and the flap is over here. So it opens up and it shows you another cow on the inside. You can also stamp another greeting here instead of the cow if you want. And then this right here was a mistake. I covered it up with the square. So there's no mistakes in stamping, right? <laughs> Just reasons to embellish. So, but this is the one we're going to make today. So let me show you the other ones. Now, I want to go through a set of dies with you guys today because I have been contacted by many of my customers that were asking about this die in particular because it's um, it looks different than what it does in person compared to what it looks like in the mini catalog. So let me show you this stamp or this die collection. This is actually the stamp that it comes with. So this is the Everyday Details stamp set and the dies and I think this is on page 23 I think that's page 23 or 28 I believe in the mini catalog but this die actually let me get my mini catalog and I can show you why there's a little confusion on this die collection let me just look for it really quick right here 28 I was right 23 or 28 Okay, so this is the die collection and the stamp set on page 28 in the mini catalog. And the confusion is, I think it's looking like there's more dies than what there actually are. And I want to explain this, so because it's kind of hard to write it in an email and explain it. And then you guys are like, what did she say? <laughs> so I can actually show you so much better in today's live. So the dies look like this in the catalog, but these are the dies and when you get them, right? So they kind of look like the same, but there's not this die here. This one right here that cuts out that square with the circle in the center and this rectangle here that cuts out the rectangle. So can you see those two shapes there? I think that's where the confusion is because it looks like those dies are going to be in the collection and those dies are these dies right here. So you got your largest circle one here. These are really awesome dies because they got polka dots around the edges. So it die cuts the polka dots and the circle. But now this one right here is a double ring. So and it's together. It's not like I'm holding them together, but they're two circles. And what happens is when you die cut this circle out right here, which is the center circle will be die cut out. It's going to die cut out the polka dots around the circle. And then the, the scrap paper or the card front that you cut out will also leave the die or the polka dot circles around that edge. So let me show you my other card that I made with this. Um, this card sample that we're going to make today. I, I wanted to use this die in particular because I wanted to show you that it's going to cut out the polka dots twice. So in that picture in the mini catalog, it looks like it's a square and then it cuts it out with the, the polka dots. It's not doing that. It's just showing you that it's the, the negative from where you cut out the circle first. You cut out the circle, which is this one right here. This is my circle that I cut out, right, with my cow. This is this circle right here, right? So I cut that out. That's what that does, just like that. But when I cut that circle out of the front of my card, it cut out the circle, and then it leaves the polka dots around the negative part of my cutout. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So that's where the illusion of 
The die collection makes you look like you're getting an extra two dies, but you're not. You're getting the one, but it's doing like double duty. And then the other one that does the rectangle is the largest rectangle right here. And you can see it's double. You got the cutout for the rectangle. I didn't cut this one out, but it does cut out just like the circle. And then the negative of the die cut will cut out the polka dots on the front of the card or your scrap. Okay. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. I know, I was trying to word that in an email to you guys that were asking about it. And I'm like, oh, how do I word that? Because it's like, it's very hard to say something. It's so much better to show you. You know what I mean? So, but then you do have your individual circles. Like this one's the double one. And then you have your two other circles. And then your two or your three rectangles. And then your three other circle die cuts okay so if there's any other questions about this die i know the picture in the mini catalog is very confusing it's like an optical illusion you know but you're not short any dies it's just that one die of the circle and the rectangle does duty does double duty right so but isn't that card cute and then i wanted to show you this one so i explained that i wanted to get that out of the way because i feel like yeah, like I mentioned, it's harder to explain it in an email. And then if you haven't used the die, it was even more confusing, you know? So hopefully now when you use the die, it will make more sense, okay? All right, and then I made this card using the petal pink. This one was using the pool party. And this paper was from a little latte, as well as the paper we're using today on my other card right here. These two designer papers are from the A Little Latte designer paper, which went live yesterday, which I'm so happy about. I love that whole collection. And then this one is from the Flowering Ziennas, and it's the petal pink with, of course, the polka dots. Can you see it? Isn't it cute? But look, I did something different. I did a square instead of a circle. So it's the same card. I just changed the shape. So it makes it look totally different, see? So whatever shape you decide to use, whether it's the styling, um, the stylish shapes, or even the everyday dies with the circles or the, the, oh, I guess you could do it with the rectangle, maybe go like this. Let me show you what I'm thinking. You could really cut this out <clears throat> as a, you know, like vertical, like this. And then it would stick onto the panel too. And then you would cut the smaller. Yeah. So you could do that too with that one. So it doesn't matter the shape for this kind of a card. It's perfect. So whatever you feel like making circles, squares, rectangles, whatever. Okay. So isn't it cute? All right. So let me go ahead and get my measurements and all my pieces for today's card. And we'll get through that. <clears throat> Let me show you the bundle we're using. Of course, the cutest cows. It's been on back order for a while, but it is back in stock. So you can get the bundle and you get the punch and the stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set, which we all love. So we can see right where we're stamping. All right, let me get all that out of the way. And then these are the stylish shapes that I'm using for my banner. And then also on this cow here for the, the window part of the flap, right there. I use the stylish shapes for that, okay? All right, now, let me get all my pieces. We're gonna do some scoring. I did not have a chance to score my cardstock, so we'll score that piece together. You're gonna need, are you guys ready? You're gonna need a piece of, I'm using the Lemon Lolly. This is cut at five and a half by nine and a half. A piece of the a little latte, which I love this paper. This is the back side with the coffee beans. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of basic white, which is also cut at four by five and a quarter for the inside. And then I already die cut out my two circles and my banner. And then the side piece for my flap is cut at seven eighths by five and three eighths. Okay. So we're gonna score now. Let me get my paper trimmer. Right 
I'm going to need my arm open up. When I had my um, my class here, I guess it was last weekend. Was it last weekend? You know, and I broke down this whole area here. I feel like I put it back slightly different. Can you guys notice my table's not like with my paper? It's just my table now. I don't know. It's kind of different. I'm kind of liking it. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay. So we're going to cut this down to nine and a half. So let me do that. All right, so then on the nine and a half inch side, we're going to score it in two places. We're going to score it at four and a quarter and eight and a half. And that's it. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. You can make lots of these. And it's just a really simple, sweet little fun fold. It's not really complicated at all, but yet it is like a... A unique fold where, you know, when somebody likes getting those kind of fun folds in the mail that you normally send them, it's just something that's going to be really, I don't know, it's still a fun fold in my eyes. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our designer paper on first. Now here's a trick you want to do if you want to save your circle when you cut it out, because like on my card here, I kept the back piece on, which is the... Latte Love. Here, you can you see that behind the cow? But if you don't want to keep that on there like I did with the, the, the petal pink one here, so I kept the paper off of this one, see? So what you want to do is you want to put your adhesive onto your designer paper just around the four corners. Where is my adhesive at? I guess I'll use this one. All right, so I'm just going to put my adhesive around the four corners of my paper. And this is just making it so when I cut out the circle in the front of my front of my card, we can use that circle for something else and we can take it apart from the lemon lolly, you know, so it won't be stuck together and you ruin it, right? So we're going to take that front of the card and then we're going to take our circle. Let me get my stylus shapes out here. I think I used the second to the largest size. Let me make sure. Yes. So I took the second to the largest size in the circle, which is the die measures approximately two and three quarter. Two and three quarter circle size. Okay. And then the next size down in the basic white will be about two and a quarter-ish, approximately. Okay, so you'll cut two circles out. All right, so now when you're cutting out the front of your card, you got to remember you got about an inch of a flap over here. And this is what your circle, your basic white circles with the cows, are all going to attach to this flap right here. So when you're cutting it, just imagine you're cutting the circle out towards your right-hand side where the flap is. You just don't want to cut it way over here because the flap is not going to reach. See? So you want to cut it more so over towards this side, not right on the edge. You know, you, you have some space. Because see, with the card closed, you still, you still have some space to attach your circle. Okay? So put your circle on the front of your card and then run that through your die cut machine, okay? And I've already got one cut, which is right over here. So let me get that one out. Got my circle still cut out in there. All right, so then this is where I was saying you can remove that adhesive off of your circle and then you can use this for something else, okay? So but this circle, the lemon lolly is what I'm gonna use. So then we're going to put our adhesive on the back of our strip. I'm going to use the liquid glue for this one. Because this is going, this is 7 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. And my flap is 1 inch by 5 and a, five and a half. So I want to have that layered onto the front of the flap with my liquid glue because there's a little wiggle room for that. Okay, so there's my, let me get my bone folder. So yeah, burnish your edges of your folds. Okay. So 
So now you can see there, my flap is showing through my circle. Can you see that right here on this edge right here? So close up your card and then I'm going to put liquid glue just on that flat part. I'll put glue on here and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm putting it right on the flap through that circle cut out right here. See that? I just put glue right here and then I'm going to take that circle that I cut out already with the, the die. Keeping my card closed, I'm going to set that right inside of that cutout and then open up that card so it goes through the cutout and then just hold that there on that glue so it adheres to it really nice. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna let that sit there because we're gonna stamp our cows. I did not do any stamping ahead of time. So we can hang out and chit chat. And then you can go ahead and stamp on your basic white piece that's gonna go on the inside. And then I have my two circles, which are the two, two and a quarter. Actually, it's two and an eight size actually when it's die cut out. So it's a little bit smaller. But these fit perfectly inside the circle, see that? Okay, so we're gonna stamp our cows. I got my Memento ink, because we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna stamp the two cow faces on some scrap. Get that out. Right here, right, yep, so we're gonna stamp. I got both cow faces on one block. So I got the winky face here, and then I got the smiley face here. So I'm just gonna stamp both of them on this scrap piece of basic white. I like the winky face the best. <laughs> He's just so cute and playful. All right, then I have the lay down cow body. I'm gonna stamp that on one of my circles. And then I got the one with the udders on the body. I'm gonna stamp that one on the other circle. Oh, that one's kind of over too far, but that's all right. All right, now I'm going to grab my Granny Apple Green. There is a little patch of grass that has is that's in the stamp set. I'm going to stamp that too underneath my cow's feet. And legs. <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting onto my banner here, making sure I got that right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna stamp this greeting. This is gonna go on the front. The little things you do make such a big difference. So this is gonna go right in the center of that large banner, just like that. Okay. And then the inside of my card, I'm gonna stamp, what's moo with you? <laughs> what's moo with you, playing on the cow? That's gonna go on the inside. I think that's it. Now we're just gonna color. I got two colors of my markers, my Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna use the basic black, dark, and then the petal pink, dark. So let's do the black first. I'm just gonna color my cow, the hair, and the spots, his tail, and his hooves, all in the black. So has everybody been having nice weather? Oh my gosh, it's been so beautiful here. We had a little rain yesterday, I believe it was yesterday. But then it like cleared up. At least it's no snow. I think my snow and my snow patch in the front of my house has finally melted. Because our next door, well not our next door neighbor, but our neighbor across the street, he plows our cul-de-sac, which is really nice. And um, he plows it right up in front of mine 
my house and our next door neighbor's house. So we have like this huge hill, which I'm not complaining. It's just that the snow always melts the, not quite the fastest when it's a big hill in front of our house. So I think with the last rainstorm, it finally melted. And now my grass looks like it's starting to turn green. I love it. All right. So we colored in my cow. Now the petal pink dark, I'm going to color in the little nose and the mouth and the ears. Remember, I have a video that kind of highlights this punch that shows you all the punches in the punch itself, all the pieces and what they do. So you can make this cow really 3D if you want, if you really wanted to. But today I'm just keeping it pretty simple. All right, and we're going to punch out our faces. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. These two fit into the punch perfectly. There's one. And then two. There is a body. There's one body that fits. The, red, the, the other two, which is the two that I'm using, you can just stamp on the cardstock like I did with the circle. So you just stamp them on there and then you can pop up the head like that. I got a card from, oh my gosh, I got a card from Beverly. You guys got to see the cards that I got. But Beverly, I love you, or not, sorry, Barbara, I love your card. It's so cute. She put a wobble on her cow head. Oh. I went to go buy some on Amazon and oh my gosh, they're so expensive. I just wanted like three or four of them. I don't need like 60. So, um, yeah, I'm not buying no wobble heads, but they were so cute. All right, so we're going to put a dimensional on the back of our cow head. I think I'm going to put this one on the front. I'm just going to tilt his head a little bit just so that his ear doesn't get caught into the cutout. Cause I did stamp it over a little bit. Where did that other, there it is. The winky cow face. He's the cutest. So cute, look. How adorable. And then this one. So cute. All right, now let's put them on our circle. I think I'm gonna put, let's put them up on dimensionals too, why not? So this one with the smiley face is gonna go on the front of my circle. It's just gonna go right in the inside. And with his ear, see how his ear is kind of going over? So you can adjust that if you want, but I don't think that that's too much of an issue because the, the card still opens up fine. Just like that, okay? And then we're gonna put the other cow on the inside circle to kind of cover up the flap part back there. So then this one's gonna go over here, just like that. So that's gonna be the inside flap. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right, now let me go ahead and put the inside of my card in. Let me use my liquid glue again. This is what's new with you, or what's moo with you. <laughs> what's moo with you? This is gonna go on the inside, four by five and a quarter. I have some team members going to on stage with us. So we are doing a little swap. So I was thinking I was gonna give them this card, but I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Maybe in the petal pink color. And then I'll give them a little something. I haven't figured it out yet, but it's cute. So there's the card. And then you're gonna put your, the little things you do make such a big difference. We're gonna put that up on dimensionals too, just because I like dimensionals. And we're gonna put this right underneath the cow on the front, just like that. Ta-da, there's the card. See, I told you guys it was easy. <laughs> Why is that? There we go. So cute. 
So you get a cow on both sides. I love it. It's adorable. All right, let me show you the other ones. Do you guys have any questions about that? We're getting there. Oh, Irene, Irene's answering Dawn. Okay, so here's the first one. Now this is where I messed up. I stamped what's moo with you and then I put grass under it and I didn't like it. So I covered it up with the square. So I just cut it out, the greeting again, and then I just popped it up. So that's the only reason why I put a square in there is to cover up the stamped where I messed up. And it wasn't that I messed up, I just didn't like it, you know, with the grass. And then here's the petal pink version. Love it, with the square. That's the one I think I'm going to make my girls when they go to on stage. They're going to get this as their swap. I like it with the petal pink. And then this one is the pool party using the everyday dies, everyday detail dies with the double. Remember when we were talking about that earlier? So that's that one. So you get all the polka dots on the cutouts. So cute. Okay, that's it. That is the card. Super easy. Easy is the name of the game today. Um... With the cutout circle, only the circle was attached to the fold out. White insert. What was that fold called? <laughs> Pia. I think that was the pull out. Pull. Yeah, it was like it was like you pulled this out here. This isn't it though. That's a different fold. I think it's a pull out something. Um, pull out fun fold maybe, because the window it pulls out this way and then the card folds open. Is that the one you're talking about, Pia? Yeah, it's something pull out front fun fold or something. Yeah, that was posted uh, maybe a year or so ago. You guys, you guys gotta go back into my YouTube channel and watch all my older videos. There are so many older videos that you guys are missing. Seriously, there's so many cute ideas. Now, like I was thinking of doing this as a, as a, insert to the card do you guys want me to show you it because i really was seriously thinking i was going to do it let me take this piece of scrap here you're going to cut a piece cut it at one inch by five and a quarter right so five and a quarter and then i'm just going to cut a piece of basic white here let me get some scrap I'm just gonna cut a piece of basic white. I don't know, cut it two and a quarter. I don't know if that's the size, but I would use the dies to cut out my squares. That might be too big. All right, so this is really what I was thinking about doing with this card, but I just wasn't having enough time to play around with it. But take your one inch by five and a quarter and you're gonna score this at one inch. Two inch and four and a quarter. Okay. I think this will fit in here. Yeah, I think that will fit in there fine. Even a two by two inch square would probably work. I'm just going to use this card because it's lemon lolly and that's my scrap here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our one inch flap. Over here, we're going to put adhesive on that one inch. And then I'm going to put a, a piece of adhesive here so my square can fit on here. Okay? So we're just going to put adhesive here. We're going to put our square on here. Now, I would stamp this. Let me see. What's another stamp I could use for that? Um, let's stamp It's Your Special Day. Okay, so then I can use this for a birthday card. I always need birthday cards. All right. You could also stamp another cow. Maybe that's what I could do. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll stamp another cow. That's the other. Let me stamp the other body. Hold on. This is an improv, <laughs> impromptu video part of this video. Let me use the other cow body that I didn't use yet. Right, that one. And then I'm going to do my winky face again. Because I like that one the best. Right? 
All right, where's my Memento ink? <laughs> Sorry. We're going in a different route here just to show you what I was thinking about doing for this card. All right, so we're going to stamp this cow body on this two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp this winky face. I got to color it again, so just give me a couple minutes here. All right, so let me get my markers here. We're going to color the black again. This is just another element you can add to this fun fold card if you want to. You can add this to any of the cards. But what made me think of this is because you guys need to go back into my old videos. You guys see people making videos and they're copying my stuff that I've done. I mean, we all share our stuff with each other. But this video I've done a couple different ways. So you guys need to go back and look at the video because it adds another element to your cards that open uh, vertical. I think I even did one that opens up horizontal too. All right, and we're gonna take our petal pink again. Color the ears. All right, now let me punch this cow out so I can put this on that square. All right, so we can finish the little added bonus. I don't know what that's called. It's definitely a pop-up. Where's my dimensionals right here? All right, so pop his head up over here. Right? And then we're going to stamp our grass again because the other ones have grass. We got to stamp grass on this one. So then all three cows are on my card. Right? All right? Let me clear some of this off here so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, now, where is my yellow piece of, where'd that go? <laughs> where did it go? Did you guys see where it went? Did it stick to my card? Where did it go? Is that it? That's it. I found it. <laughs> it was on the case. All right. So this piece that's going to actually be the pop-up of my card. This is cut at one inch by five and a quarter. And we scored it at one. And we scored it at one, two, and four and a quarter. Okay. So on this one inch side, I put some adhesive on there. You put some more. And then I put a strip of adhesive, the long piece. So the one inch side is over here. Over here you have the one inch and the two inch score line, right? So we're gonna put our one inch over here to the left. And then I'm gonna put my cow between that two inch and four and a quarter, right there, okay? So now this is what that's gonna look like. So now we're gonna set this end of the card with the one inch end over here with the adhesive and we're gonna put this right up next to the score line. Now the reason you wanna put your cow on here is because you don't want it to go over the card on the bottom or if it's on the top. So you wanna position your little pop-up piece so your cow is inside the card like that. So this one inch side over here is on that score line. So fold that over and then open it up. And then on this side where the one inch score line is, you're gonna put adhesive over here. And then you're gonna fold that back like this. Wait, we're gonna fold this back over here. Fold it back. And then press that down. It should, yeah, that's the way it's going to move. See that? <laughs> so then there's a little pop-up inside of the little peekaboo window. Isn't that cute? So you have your three cows, one, two, and three right there. I would put like a sun or something up here or a cloud just to fill in that space. 
Maybe even do it at two by two instead of two and a quarter by two and a quarter. But that's a little cute little pop up for your card. And these videos are in my in my gallery on my YouTube channel. You just have to search back and just watch them. There is a lot of fun folds, you guys, in my YouTube gallery. You just got to go back and look. And they're older, but the idea is still really good. You just change it to what you have. You know what I mean? So that was my plan, which I did do today to show you guys. But that's the pop-up piece. See how it sits in the card? And it does fold flat. And then your other cow folds over like that. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right. So oh, that came off. I got to put more glue on that is why. All right. But remember, when you're putting this, you're only folding over the one inch side. And making sure that cow is in that card, within that card base. You know what I mean? So it fits into a regular size envelope. Ta-da! All right, so that's your bonus little demo on the pop-up piece. Cute. Do you like it? Now you can add that to your card, too. All right. Any questions? Just love the surprise pop-up. Thank you, Melanie. What a treat to see to see you try different things, Donna. <laughs> Actually, that was from a video from I think nine months ago or a year. So and there's a few videos. I think I did the the goat. Remember that? I did a gatefold with the double window, and I did the the chickens, the the, the chuck, you know, the rooster. I did a card like that that did the pop-up. Yeah, seriously, guys, go look and watch all my older videos. There are so many cute fun folds in there. You will be inspired, I'm sure. All right. Uh, thank you, Angie. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Pia. Sue, Sarah says she remembers that, pop, that remembers that too, Pia. Um, I love that there are two faces. There's actually three faces. Remember the, the third face? Whoop, that just came out. There's three faces, but this one does not match with the punch. But you can still stamp the cow and you can stamp the cow face just like we did with the body. This face, this face, and this, this body I think is the one that works with the punch. Yes. Without the udders. That one works with the punch. Okay, it is such a cute little stamp set. I love it. All right, guys, let me show you the cards again. I'll just bring them in here. Oh, let me show you my Latte Love version too, because that's cute too. All right, so remember, any shape works for this type of card. Now that I got the pop-up in there, I gotta remember that it's in there. Okay, so here is the Latte Love version of this card. Let me remove that comment from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. So here is the Latte Love. And then, oh, hold on. I got it glued down so I could take pictures of it, but that's the inside of my card. So it's, you're the best part of my day, and I put the two little coffee cups in there. And that's using the a little Latte designer paper again. Don't you guys love that paper? Oh, I love it. With all the clips of coral, the lemon lolly, and the pool party, and oh, I love it. Costa Cabana. No, oh yeah, Costa Cabana, not Bermuda Bay, but Costa Cabana. So that is the Latte Love version of this card. Now I have all four of the, or all three of these cards, except for the pop-up. That's your bonus for today's live video. That will be on the replay too, so you guys can re-watch that. But all three cards will be posted on my blog tomorrow. So if you want to see up close pictures of that. And then I'm thinking I'll post this one on Friday. Okay. All right. Now let's do another glitter giveaway. And then I will let you guys go. Man, we were fast today. I kind of thought it was going to be a fast live just because the card is so easy and fast and cute. Did... Oh, yeah, I want to show you the, yeah, let me show you here Barb's card with the wobble head. Actually, let me bring on all the cards, and then we'll do a glitter giveaway, all right? Hold on. 
All right, so here is Barb's card. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at that, how cute. And then look at her cute, see she did the pop-up. That's what made me think of it too. But look at how cute her little winky face is coming around the corner there. I love it. So cute. And then this card and this little treat holder are from my downline, Anna. Oh my gosh, Anna. I know I already told you how much I loved your gifts, but I have to show you again. Oh my gosh. I love your gifts, Anna. Life is sweet. And she put a pack of the watermelon extra gum. And it smells so good. So that's a little treat holder she sent me. But you guys, wait till you see this card. Oh, of course, this is the hot air balloon, which you guys know I all we all love this with the paper. But look at this card. Ooh, don't you love it? The balloons fit on here perfectly. Talk about, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was going to say, I could case her card, but holy moly, that is beautiful. So thank you, Anna. And then let me show you these other cards here. This is a beautiful one with the magnolia. This is from, let me see here, who is this from? Let me give credit here. This is from Diana. Diana's here today. She's another glitter queen. Thank you, Diana. Love the card. It's so beautiful. And then this card came all the way from Canada, and it's from Myran, Moran, I think her name is Moran. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's a, it's a card, but it also has a calendar and a little post-it note here. Isn't that clever? I love it. But it's actually a card. It's so cute. Thank you so much. And then this card is from, hold on, this one's from Diana, and she says, hello, or hi, Rich, <laughs> using the little muskrat, or the, what are those again? This was a celebration set, those cute little, um, not a muskrat, not a ferret. What was that stamp? But we loved it with the cute little, see, look how cute. <laughs> That's from Diana. Thank you, Diana. And then this card, this beautiful card, is from, hold on, save the envelope. This is from Laura. Look how beautiful this is. This is like the card that you're asking about, Pia, right? Isn't this it? That folds out? I think it's the, yeah, what did I call that card? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I do remember all the videos I've made, all Close to 1,700 videos, you guys. There's a lot to watch over there. But thank you, Laura, for your beautiful card. I love it. And then last but not least, this card is from Carol. Thank you, Carol. Hopefully I as answered your question. She was one of the ones that asked about the um, everyday detail dies. She had got that, that die collection for her FSM tokens. So she asked a really awesome question. So I thought... There was a couple other people that asked the same question, so I thought I would answer it today in today's live. So hopefully that explained that. But yes, the wobbles do fit the cow face. Look how cute. I don't know what size wobble head she got, but it looks like it's clear on the back side. But it's so cute. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, everybody. I love it. I love getting happy mail, too, you guys. Thank you so much for thinking about me. All right, now let's do another glitter spinner. I'm trying to think where I brought my gift over. There it is. I have some of these iridescent foil gems. Now, these are so pretty. They're like, well, they're iridescent, so they're going to change color. But what I see in this, maybe because my nails are kind of like a magenta color, it's picking up a lot of, can you see how it's picking up the magenta in my nails? Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. But they're like foil inside the gems. They're so, so pretty. So let's go ahead and spin for these. All right, are we ready? Spinning, spinning. Spinning, spinning. All right, right. Right here. Who is that? Joan! 
Joan, you won the iridescent foil gems. Joan, do I have your address, Joan? B-A-L-L-A-N-G-E-R. I want to say I do. But just to make sure, please email me here. Dawn at the glitterpit.com. Email me here and just give me your shipping address, which is your mailing address, your physical street address. And then that will just confirm if I already have it or if I don't have it, then I'll have it. And then the next time you win, then I'll be all set, right? So these are the iridescent gems. Yay! Go Joan! Woohoo! All right. Yay, Joan! All right, so Joan and Irene. You guys won the glitter spinners today. Yay! Congratulations, you guys. All right, now let me look back. Thank you for liking and sharing. Yes, please. Please. I don't want to beg. If I have to, I will. <laughs> please don't make me beg. Please share this video on your social media. Please invite your friends to watch us here every Wednesday, except for next Wednesday. Remember, we won't be here next Wednesday. And then also give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. If you like it, share it, right? Bring all your friends over. If they're crafty, they'll like it. They might learn something, right? We always have fun learning something new in the glitter pit. So share, share, share. Like, like, like. And subscribe, please. YouTube likes all that. Get some wobbles at Michael's, our list set. All right, let me make a note. Michael's is on my other... Um, other side of town, maybe, maybe, maybe we can swing in there tonight because I would like to put wobbles on my downlines cards for on stage. Arla says to go to Michael's. I just might have to do that. Right. All right. So I made a note. All right. Love all the cows really makes it special. Thank you, Jeannie Ann. I was here, then got a big beef order, so I had to get in my freezer. Oh my goodness, Angie, that's awesome. We'll need to rewatch most of the card making portion. All right, well, that's what's great about the live, right? You guys can watch it, rewatch it, share it, like it, subscribe. <laughs> Do I sound desperate? I'm not really desperate. I'm just really encouraging you if you haven't yet. Also, you guys can subscribe to my newsletter. That also gives you the PDF before anybody. You guys also see the project that we're making. The last two weeks, I have not posted a newsletter tutorial just because our group is kind of like, you know, I don't know what's happening with our group, but there's been no newsletters and I haven't had time to do it. So hopefully after on stage, I can get back to at least doing that for my newsletter. And then, um, but yeah, subscribe to my newsletter too. That is all on my website, which is over here. DawnStampingThoughts.net, right here. DawnStampingThoughts.net, that's my website. When I'm posting, you guys can see everything over there. And then um, also with the Facebook outage yesterday, you guys know if there's um, anything that's going on in Stampin' Up's world, I try to post it as soon as I can over on my website. And then also you guys get my newsletter. So everything's up to date. Now tomorrow, Two brand new kits will be launched with the Stampin' Up! kits. You guys know the card kits and stuff. Remember our um, housewarming, happy house plants, I think it was the kit. And um, sparkling birthday kit was the most recent one from last month. So tomorrow we have two brand new kits launching. So if you are interested in that, please check my website for that too, all right? Those will go live tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Joan. Thank you. All right. Oh, yes. We all love the chickens and the roosters, right? That always brings a smile to my face. I love those little critters. All right. Oh, you just ordered the latte love? Yay, Diana. You're going to love it. The paper is so beautiful. And there's only a couple sheets that actually are like coffee themed in that suite of designer paper. 
and I guess the coffee beans and coffee cups, but I mean, I really like the pool party design in the, um, the lemon lolly piece here with the plaid. I love that too. So it's just not, you know, for coffee lovers, even though there's coffee beans or little coffee cups. Um, there's the little coffee stains kind of, <laughs> it's just a cute pack of paper. I love it. Thank you, Laura. Yes, we will be gone. And then that's when we're going to, when we get back from Houston, we're going to send out all the kits for the Latte Love. We're almost cut. Everything's cut. And I got one more video to film, which I'm going to hopefully do this weekend. And then everything will be ready. We're just waiting for the order to come. Remember, I wasn't exp expediting it. It would have cost me a fortune to expedite it. So we're just going to get it. And then my mom will probably come over and pick it up, get it off my bo off my porch. And then... um. That's if it comes, you know, after we leave. So, um, but the kits will be mailed out first thing when we get back. So, no worries. We haven't forgot you guys. And I'll be sending out an email to everybody that did the card kit, whether it was option one or option two with the, the private website for the four videos. And then you'll get the printable over there. And then your kits will be mailed out. All right. So, stay tuned for all that after we get back from Houston. <coughs> Griffey spell check is killing. I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure you use you'll use wobbles for Griffey cards. Yes. Griffey Griffey's cards need wobble heads, right? That makes it more interactive. Um have a great time at on stage. We'll miss you. Oh, Irene, thank you. I'll miss you guys too. I'm really looking forward to um, seeing everybody, you know, my demonstrator friends, catching up with everybody, talking about stuff. And I will share more information about stuff when I get back. Hopefully, we'll get more details about stuff. And I think we're getting the annual catalog, too, in our little hot hands when we're at on stage. So, we will be able to get a sneak peek of what's coming. We can't share the catalog, of course, but... I can at least share the cover with you guys. All right. Any questions before I go? Remember, we won't be here live next week, all right? Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I will see you in, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. We'll be here at 3 o'clock Eastern. Don't forget, every Wednesday except for next Wednesday. <laughs> and I give you guys enough head, heads up so you guys won't freak out if I'm not here. So next Wednesday we will be away, but the following Wednesday we'll be here back to our regular scheduled program, all right? Yay! All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And... Thank you all for your patience while we go through all this when I'm traveling, when I get back, and the card kit, everything. So I will see you guys in two weeks. Love you guys. Bye.